I feel really good. Kind of just trying to get through the last couple days of school and, and with good grades and everything. Paige has always been a really hard worker, very independent. My, my most probably independent child, which is really, in the grand scheme of things, seemed to serve her well. Paige is our, our only daughter, uh, middle child, and uh, was always very independent, headstrong, um, kind of knew what she wanted, and uh, very competitive as well, and uh, you know, always interested in athletics and uh, you know, excelling. Freshman year went great. She was a varsity cheerleader. And then in the summer, life took a hard left. Just spontaneously, one night, um, she woke up paralyzed, basically from the chest down. The sudden um, mystery of, of her illness, the rareness of it, uh, just threw us for a loop for sure. Um, you know, it was pretty traumatic as a father, seeing your, your daughter uh, wake up one morning, unable to get out of bed, lifting her out of the bed to the car, racing to the hospital, and then just the uncertainty of what's going on. She got diagnosed with acute partial transverse myelitis, which is um, basically a condition where they said it's spontaneous and one in a million people come down with it and inexplicably. And so they basically said she had won the unlucky lottery. Some of like my biggest memories about it are like the night it happened and like waking up. It was definitely a big shock. It's definitely really confused. I, but I remember like the whole first month being in the hospital, I like, did never really like thought about it or like what would be permanent or like happen. And then like they told me like they don't know how much better I would get and that's when I was like, oh, like this is like a life thing. So it was a tough road. She basically went to rehab uh, for two months. I lived with her in the hospital and she had to battle back to be able to do e the things in life, you know, walk feed herself, um, use her arms, legs, hands, um, come back from paralysis. I think it had something to do with me like not really thinking about it very much. Like while I was in the hospital, I just like had a daily routine there and I like just followed through with that every day. Physical therapy is like what helped me the most. In the hospital, you know, during this time, she's trying to keep up with classes. You know, she couldn't hold a pen, she couldn't write. So I, she had to use voice to text because she was really trying to keep up with her schoolwork so that she could graduate on time. And she wanted to make sure that she was at school. Like it wasn't just, I want to get this work done and I want to make sure I get my degree. She was like, I want to be a part of school. And so from the very beginning, um, when she was able to come back, she came back, she came back full force, even if it meant, I just want to be on the sidelines and be a part of what's going on at school. Even if it meant, I just want to get a couple of assignments done and make sure I'm actively involved in class. Paige was very dedicated to making sure that she was always a member of Highland Ranch High School. I just find her as really funny. Um, she's so sweet. She's always there for me. She's always been such an upbeat and loving person. And I think that she had such a great support system, whether that be her family, her friends, or even like the kids on the cheer team. My friends definitely helped a lot. They like knew what happened, obviously, and like weren't judging me for it. I felt comfortable with them. To Graduate high school with the grades she has and get the scholarships, you know, for college is makes me super proud. But having done that, pushing through the obstacle that she's had to overcome to get here is makes me immensely proud. It's been uh, something that has really uh, challenged our whole family. Uh, obviously, uh, this has uh, multiple things, but Paige has uh, really uh, been so strong. I can't. Part of the challenge is trying, trying to understand. Um, and so I can't, I just, I really just can't um, imagine what, what strength, you know, she's had to endure it. So, so really proud of her.